it's Allison here from nicepeoplestamp.com. Thank you for being here with me today on my YouTube channel. I have a fun crafty video for you featuring the Under My Umbrella Bundle. So this is a stamp set and punch bundle and we are going to use it to create a super cute card. Let's jump in. So I have all my cardstock pieces here to start my card. Let's go over them. This is the card base. This is a piece of balmy blue cardstock. This is a four and a quarter by 11 inches, scored at five and a half. I have an additional piece of balmy blue cardstock. This is a three and a half by one and a half. The gorgeous Daffodil Delight cardstock is three and a half by four and three quarters. I've got a piece of the thick Whisper White cardstock, and I've actually punched this out with my two and a quarter inch circle punch. This is a piece of my regular Whisper White cardstock. This is two and a quarter by three quarters. And then I've got this really beautiful Pleased as Punch designer series paper. I love this multicolored stripe. And this is three and a half by three quarters. We're going to start out with some stamping on our white pieces. So I'm bringing in my Tuxedo Black Memento ink pad. And I've got this really cute stamp of a pair of rubber boots. And we're going to stamp that onto our circle just on the left hand side there. And then I've got some cute little flowers from our same stamp set. And we're just going to stamp those down like they're growing out of the top of the rubber boots. And then our sentiment for today's card is going to say, no matter the weather, we're friends forever. There we go. So I brought in some of my Stampin' Blends markers. These are an alcohol-based marker, and we are going to use them to color our image today. So I'm going to start with my dark Granny Apple Green, and I'm going to use that to color in all the leaves on our little cluster of flowers. I'm also going to color beneath the flowers where our flowers are going into our boots. So it'll look like foliage as they go into the boots and connect those two images together. So just like that. Then I've got my dark Daffodil Delight and I'm going to take this and color in my flowers. So I want to leave the center of my flowers white. So I'll just make sure to avoid those centers and then go ahead and color the rest of the flowers. And then for our cute little boots, we're going to use the Flirty Flamingo Stampin' Blends Combo. So this is the dark and light marker. I'm going to start with the dark and I'm just going to add up into the top of the boots and the bottom. As well as, this is going to be a little sort of shadow of where the front boot is shadowing onto the boot behind. And then for some additional depth, we're going to add some dark into our front boot here and then sort of all along the toe there. Okay, so just like that. Now we're going to take our light flirty flamingo and we're going to add that into the remainder of the boot. What we're also going to do is use our marker to blend those two colors. So because these are alcohol based markers, we can use the tip of our marker and do these circular motions and back and forth to blend between the light and the dark color. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that on both. And sometimes you'll find that you might want to go back in with your dark marker once again. And we might actually do that to add some more depth into the dark area of the boot again. So it's just kind of playing around to get it exactly how you'd like it. Okay. And that's why we're using the thick Whisper White cardstock as well, because we don't want our ink to really bleed too much because we're putting so much ink into our cardstock that we want it to be a thick cardstock so it can absorb it all. So there is our cute 
little rain boots. Really cute with those graduated color with the flirty flamingo. I've brought in my die cutting and embossing machine and I'm going to use the Country Floral 3D embossing folder and I'm going to put that through with my Daffodil Delight cardstock. So I'll just put that inside and close it up and then roll it through. Now we have this super beautiful embossed and this one has an absolute ton of texture. You're going to love this embossing folder. So we have all of our pieces ready. We can go ahead and start assembling our card. So the first thing I want to do is take my Please is Punch designer paper and layer it onto my balmy blue. So I'm just going to take my snail adhesive and I'll layer that onto the bottom of the balmy blue. And then I can take this piece and put it onto my piece of Daffodil Delight. So I want to be generous with my adhesive. We are putting this onto a very textured piece of cardstock. And we'll just stick that down. It's going approximately between three quarters of an inch and an inch from the bottom of the Daffodil Delight. So now I can take this piece, add some snail adhesive on the back side. Again, we've got a very textured piece. So we want to go ahead and add a generous amount of adhesive. And we're going to put that right down onto our card front. There we go. So I want to put my cute little boots onto my card. So I'm going to take some Stampin' Dimensionals and put those on the back. These are double-sided, so I'll just take those backings off and place that onto my card. So I do want a little bit of my striped paper peeking out the bottom. My white circle is going to hang off the edge of the daffodil just a little bit and off the edge of the bottom of the stripe piece. Okay, so just like that. So now I want to put my sentiment on, but before I add this, I want to add a little accent. So I've got my heart doilies here and we're going to use one of these as a fun accent piece. So these come in pink and red and of course they're white on the back so they can be kind of any color you want. But we're going to use the pink side. And what I wanna do is I'm just gonna cut about a quarter of the doily and I want to add it underneath this front edge of my sentiment. Okay, so I'm going to snip off the top piece because we don't want that hanging out the top. But let's just sort of line it up and see if we've got... So I don't want it to hang over the edge of my circle. So you can see if I put that on right now, it's going to hang off the edge of my circle. So I'm just gonna cut off one more of these little loops of the doily. And now I'll put a little bit of adhesive on that side of my sentiment and place my doily piece. So just like that, isn't that cute? So that's gonna go onto our card front just like that. So I want to put on a couple of dimensionals over on this side here. There we go. And then a little bit of my snail adhesive on this side where it's going to rest on top of the circle. So we'll just, oh, we need to take the backs off our dimensionals. And we want to be sure we have some of our balmy blue showing out the top. There we go. And we have our super adorable card featuring the Under the Umbrella bundle. So we have just the cutest card here made with this bundle. This bundle is available in my online store at shopnicepeoplestamp.com. No matter where you live in Canada, you can shop with me. And I do appreciate it when you do shop with me. I have a fabulous shopping rewards program all of the details for that are in the video description below. And make sure before you go that you subscribe to my channel. Hit the little bell so that'll turn on your notifications so you will get a reminder when I have a new crafty video for you.
And of course, leave me a little love in the comments. I love hearing from you and give this video a big thumbs up. Thanks so much, everyone, and have a great day. I'll be back to craft with you again soon. Bye.